Hi and welcome to the tutorial on Alamy keywording. Uh, this tutorial will show you how to set up the program to do Alamy keywording, how to enter the generators and keywords so they go in all the boxes, and then finally it'll show you how to fill in the Alamy licensing information and copy that to all your images, and then finally to export it out as an Excel spreadsheet for, for you to send to Alamy. So right now the program is set up for regular keywording and we go up into preferences and we click on up here on Alamy compliant and you see by doing that the program uh, checks off that we're using essential keywords and it gives it a 50 character limit. We're using main keywords with a 300 limit, comprehensive with an 856 limit, that the a uh, caption has a 128 character limit. Uh, right now there are no characters around the multi-term keywords, but you can choose quotes or squares, square brackets. Um, Alamy is not using that right now in their search parameters, so it's not really advantageous, but um, they we put that in there anyways. They changed their minds. Uh, with a keyword sorting, the separator is a square is a blank space and the sorting is done customizable as opposed to alphabetic. Uh, customizable is using a weighted uh, vocabulary which we've talked about in previous tutorials and it also does not use plural keywords. Another thing to be aware of in the preferences is that when copying generators you also might want to copy the Alamy licensing data and the photographer and all these other things or you want to clear the Alamy data. Now that means that when I clear the fields, clear all the generators from an image, I'm also going to clear all the Alamy data. So you can have that checked or not checked. You have to be aware of how you want to use that. So let's go to uh, the keywording. We'll start to look at the entry box. You see that we have essential keywords, main keywords, and comprehensive keywords. And essential keywords are in the blue box, so I'm going to start entering words that I want to appear at the front of the list so and in their own essential keyword box. So we just start entering things and uh, let's go. We're going to enter uh, Hudson River and when I do that it enters Hudson River here and all the data, the geographical data below and down here in the location it enters Hudson River. So that's a nice way of um, uh, entering uh, all the information with just the one click. Again we put in radiance and then it puts in radiance up here and all the other words down below. Um, we continue along and as we're entering these terms you'll see that the number of characters remaining continues to get smaller and uh, we're going to enter tree trunk um, but it doesn't say I can't enter tree trunk because that'll give me uh, go over the limit by one character. So the program will tell you when uh, you can enter and when you have too many characters. So I enter tree instead. I have five remaining. And now I can just copy these keywords to other images just as I do with uh, regular keywords. I just go to keyword tools. Uh, copy generators to selected images and you'll see that um, it copies them all here. Now I go to this one and say I want to um, take out tree because I want to put in mountain instead and all I did was click on the X and it took the tree out of there. I click on mountain puts it in there, tells me I got one character left. And again, I can do this in cloning also. So I go to the cloning tool, I select these um, images, keyword your clones, and in here I can also add, you know, to the essential and change the essential or copy things from field to field. Uh, so we leave the cloning tool and that's basic it, basically it. Now let's deal with the Alamy licensing information. So I go to the first image and I've already filled in all this image, all this information. Remember the dates has to be, have to be done the way that Alamy tells you to. And when I change them, then 
program gives me a message telling me how they should be formatted. So until I get it right, it's going to tell me. And when I do uh, click out, it'll tell me if it's right or wrong. The um, entry fields with the red labels are ones that have to be have to have data to be accepted um, by Alamy. And what I can do here is I can first of all I can click on, for instance, check all these images here and then go to here and copy all Alamy fields from this image to selected Im to selected images. So it now will copy all of this information. And if you look at the unique reference number, we started at uh, 1001, it goes 1002, it goes in sequence, so it doesn't copy that, give them all the same number. You'll also notice that um, over here, we have used color illustrations, so the picture type is an eye, um, and if it was a, a color image, it would be a uh, it would be P for photo. So that information is also entered in um, automatically, along with the number of people. If I should choose, for instance, um, uh, if I choose one person, let's see over here, uh, I choose. Um, one person and under numbers and there and you see that one is chosen and it also gives Germany because Germany is a place and so it'll fit that in. Um, that's one thing. Now I can go back to the first one and I can also choose to uh, copy selected fields to certain images. So for instance, I do model release as an NA and if I go here, um, well they're already chosen as NA, so let's go back here. We choose this as an A and then I choose these images and what I need to do is make sure that model release, the label is turned orange. Then when I go to copy the selected Alamy field from this image to selected images, it has been selected. So then I click on here and it's been changed to an A. So that's a way you can pick out your images and give them all their proper, the right property, commercial releases and licensing types and all the other information so that they are correct. Now when you're all filled in, uh, got all the data filled in and the you want to send the uh, spreadsheet out, the important thing is to remember you have to have all your fields filled in or else the program won't allow you to export. So we go up to export tools, we say uh, keywords to Alamy spreadsheet, and then it tells me, oh look, 0846, the model release and property release. And that's over here, and yes, this isn't filled in. So we fill that in. There, and now we go over here and we do the Alamy spreadsheet. And oop, there it goes to the downloads, it's in my download folder. Now the important thing here is to remember that we create it as a, a CSV file, which is comma separated, which is the most easiest and best file to use. And you can send that to um, Alamy, that's perfectly fine with them or you can make it into an Excel spreadsheet. But the problem with making it into an Excel spreadsheet um, is that sometimes they, they messes around with the data. So if we look here, everything's here, and most importantly, the date fields are all the way that you entered them um, right in here. If, though, um, you enter it as an Excel spreadsheet. We enter it. The dates are fine. That's fine because we're doing it in the European method with the date in front of the month and then the year. Sometimes um, Excel will change the format and give you uh, different information than you put in there. It doesn't treat it as a text field. So you have to be aware of that. But uh, for your purposes, the um, comma separated field is just as good as the Excel. So um, that's it and uh, thank you very much.